Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Empires of the Undergrowth. We had a little bit of a tough episode last time around where we managed to lose our first leafcutter mission. I, I think mostly because I didn't understand how the, the species worked. It took me a long time to realize how mold and things like that worked. So we're gonna take another, another crack at it today. We're just gonna jump straight into it. So, it's the harvest. We did an attempt on this. We lost with like 3,000 leaves or something like that. Because I didn't understand that we were supposed to be contesting them on the leaves. So, we're gonna make another attempt today. I'm gonna go for the stun again. I did like that one. Okay, so here we are. Looks like the map is identical this to how it was before. successfully raised her first daughters beneath the leaf litter of the rainforest floor. The nutritious fungus she fed them as larvae is now dwindling. If they don't find food quickly, they will all starve. The juicy grubs nearby are a staple meal for many underground opportunists, but for now at least, they will go ignored. This budding Atacephalotis leafcutter colony has only one viable source of food, and it must be collected above ground. So, this was my first confusion. They don't fucking eat stuff. <laughs> I was like, why are you not eating? Uh, but yeah, they, they do actually eat stuff. It's just... The small scouting party of minor workers could you have to help them to get to eat. Creatures back to their uh, so crew. they're eating leaps. They will need time and luck on their side. Uh, so, we have a few things we need to do. We need to beat this thing up. I don't remember exactly where all of the enemies are. are. Distant relatives of the European Devil's Coach Horse. Despite a few million years of separation, they share the same kind of. Should be able to beat these up. Pincers, and most importantly, a yeah. fearsome final form. Just like that, and then we are going to continue go out here. So we're gonna allow ourselves to take all of the leaves on the surface that's around our immediate base and then we're going to go and contest the leaves over at the other place as well. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna have leaves and we're gonna have these, not you, go away, go away, not you. So the that. workers have located a patch of young seedlings, just what they were looking for. The leaves are soft enough to be sliced up with ease and carried back to the nest. Okay, so we have the leaves now. We do need Over a refuse time, as well. builds up in the fungus gardens, and if left unchecked, it can attract necrotrophic parasites. To deal with this problem, Atacephalotis dig out subterranean waste heaps. Preferably as far as possible from the healthy nursery chambers. Where are we? We are right there, so we can easily go over here and get the leaves from there. And we're gonna send these guys out there to do that. And very, very soon we are going to have... The refuse dump is full. Without space to store expired fungus and spend substrate, the Minims will not be able to manage the gardens efficiently. We are going to expand out this, take as much leaves as we can, and then we're gonna move fairly quickly into these leafcutter media soldiers. Leafcutter ant media soldiers, yes. Uh, they harvest a lot better than the workers. The you would expect the workers to be directly. more efficient. Instead, but no, it's actually these guys. The very smallest minim workers to cultivate a nutritious fungus. The colony the is leaves, shanks are not, not enough food to feed They are the something. Group. Are we good? Yeah, you see these little guys? Those are the ones who are actually producing food for us. As far as I understand. So we're gonna expand our waste heap here. Just so we have enough waste everywhere. This is completely the full right activities now. outside the nest have not gone unnoticed. They are being watched. Keep 
doing that. Don't do that. Okay, uh, we are the still a little bit behind on the leaves, but I think that's fine in the entrance. beginning like this. However, another ant colony has already laid claim to them. The close proximity of these nests places the two colonies in direct competition with one another. Time will tell which has the potential to grow into a great empire, and which will submit to the unforgiving law of the undergrowth. There. This is gonna be a thing. And uh, this is going to be a thing. And then we are going to get going with everything else around here. I think this is pretty good. I'm just gonna keep putting up as much as much workers as possible now. And I think we can start moving over to the soldiers at this point. They're quite expensive, they're 80 food each. A brightly patterned jumping spider, say Casviri de Purpurius, has subdued one of the workers. This expert solo hunter combines extreme agility with incredible forward vision, allowing it to pounce on unsuspecting prey with pinpoint accuracy. So yeah, there's a lot of spiders and bullshit out here. This guy, for example. He just eats my, my workers all the time. Alright, time to get some better ants for doing this work here. Uh, you can go here, and then you can go here, and you will fight if you need to. The normal ants will not do that. I wonder if they're actually good enough that it makes sense to use those to begin with. It might not, because these are just 20. These need to be four times as efficient for that to work out. Mathematically, right? That's not really how it is. Maybe I should get a bunch of these. The Just continue starving. adding workers There's for now. Enough food to feed the new brood. Only starving, you say? We're bringing in a bunch of food. And we have night time, so a lot more predators around. Usually it just means more spiders and uh, these daddy long legs coming out. Always a good time. Always a good time. So maybe I want to deal with this. There are intruders in the nest. Get rid of that. Bring this down here. And then we're going to have another worker colony right here. Can we have you come down here and fight this? I think that would be kind of handy. This big guy, if he goes and fights them, we should be, we should be fine. They actually deal quite a lot of damage, to be honest. Yeah. That is way worse than I thought. You fight. I want them to kill my queen, please. I didn't intend for this one to open up as well. That was kind of just a unfortunate accident. Let's do that. I just want more people in the in here to deliver more more stuff within within our colony. Are we struggling with delivering stuff? Or why are we... Why are we seeing a bunch of... bad stuff? Is it because these are full, maybe? What if we expand you guys a little bit? Like, give you... Give you some extra space with some... Some dirt. I'm feeling like we should be doing better than what we are. Let's get those on there, and then we're gonna start working on these actual leaf cutter ants. 
And I think we need to start... Uh, they haven't actually moved in that much to this place. I kind of want to compete with them right here. That would be my main place where I would like to compete. Alright, how are we doing? We are getting a lot of leaves now, so that's good. And more dirt is being moved out. Okay, now our red bar is almost zero as well. Very good, very good, okay. I think I would like to expand this eventually, but I'm gonna focus on this now. Let's get as many of these as we can. Okay, we are quickly starting to gather leaves now. Uh, we're still a little bit behind our, uh, our opponent. We're at 1,400 and they're at 1,800. So we still need to start competing with them a little bit here shortly. And I think the easiest way to do that would be to more or less just go to where they are shortly. And then take it from there. Our workers. Let's do this and I think I would like to maybe split them here, take that away, and do that, just want to see what that looks like. There are intruders in the nest. Those are ants, it's fine. You guys should be fighting. You guys should be fighting. Let's allow you guys to fight as well. I just want everyone to be attacking this while they're in here. Fortunately, we don't have any of the big ants when we actually need them. <laughs> That's fine. Daybreak has arrived. That's fine. The there we go. The Let's turn that off again. You guys can continue attacking. That's fine. For the ants, however. The objectives of the day remain unchanged. Locate vegetation, defend supply lines, and process leaves. There is no time for rest. We're still getting leaves here? Yes, a little bit. Not very much though. So I think what we want now is probably to head out this way to get this. Or maybe get this first. This is close to empty. I don't think that is going to be a focus anymore. Take more of these. The battle has begun. The battle has begun. What are we fighting? Mm, spiders. Okay, that's fine. So I'm gonna combine you two. To one, delete that one. Did we kill the spider? I think we killed the spider. Yeah. We are going to expand these. I will make multiple of the different ants now so that we can contest. I think that was part of the issue we had last time. We weren't able to contest at different locations because we only had one combined army, so to say. If we split them up like this, we should be able to contest in different locations. Which should be a lot, a lot better. Uh, I think I want to open this up as well. Just dig all of this out. And you guys should be able to find this as well. Mist. Everyone will be fighting. Get more of these. Those enemies has been dealt with. And we can expand with even more of these. We should probably go for some of these bigger ants here soon as well. They deal a lot of damage and they are really tanky. So they're, they're really handsome to have. I do like having them available. 
So how is this going? We are doing okay. So they are kind of right here. They don't have that much left there, so I think I will just leave them here. Except for this. Actually, they do have that 600 right there. So I could compete with them right here. What happens? 19 zero, zero. So it, it doesn't look like it does anything to upgrade those. So we will not. Instead we will build more of them. Instead we will build more of them. And we will have... Uh, this cleaned out. And I'm gonna add the big workers or big guys here. So, no, 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 not that. We're gonna have these, and then we're gonna have these. The opposing leaf cutters have retreated from one of their harvesting sites. They may have been easily startled this time, but they'll soon be back. And in All right. numbers. So they are now retreating. That's good. Let's fight them off right here as well. yeah, if we can control them, then we should be able to win this fairly easily, to be honest. That should really not be an issue. Let's get one more of these. We'll have six and maybe 15 of these. I think we can keep, keep them going each time. So if I drag another right there, then we can have the same right here. We are flying through these. Uh, we're officially ahead of the other leaves, leave ants now, so... Yeah, contesting on this seems to be what we needed to do. It's making a massive difference right now, to be honest. I did put up a lot of bad guys here, though. wonder if there's anything additionally after this. If we need to actually attack them or something. That would be really nice. So we're sending a lot of ants just to their doom here. Maybe I should reroute them to go here instead. We don't actually need them to go there. We're just contesting their there's space at this point. How's this looking? Why are we still doing this? Can we stop eating and start fighting them? I'd like them to stop stealing our stuff all the time. I think the reason we're losing here is because we don't have any of the big guys. So these guys should be right here. Now we are fighting them off here. This is exactly what we needed. Very good. And uh, you and guys can go back to a eating their food here. Its long slender legs keep its vulnerable body elevated high above the leaf litter. And when threatened, it can release strong smelling odors to deter other predators. A stern response will be needed to drive this striding nuisance away. Hey, I think we have fought them off fairly well now. Where are you actually getting your leaves from at this point? Just in your closest vicinity. That is fine. I'm actually okay with that. You guys are mostly just fighting people at this point. Seems like. And you started collecting from there. Alright, uh, how is this looking? Can we continue anything more? No. Now we're getting some more leaves here. Good. Good, 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 good. We do need as much leaves as possible, to be honest. So let's expand this a little bit. 
and let's add a bit more of this. Something like that. And now they are contesting this. What are you, grasshopper? Dead grasshopper. We like those. Dead grasshoppers are good grasshoppers. Velvet worm, that's fine. The ants have been spotted by a small velvet worm outside the nest. Dealing with that. All of their ants seems to be going up to the right here. Which we will contest with these guys. Maybe we should push you guys into here now then. That might actually make sense. Try to get get even more food out of their their area. Now they are going over here to get food as well. That's fine. We have kind of fought them off this already. But if I get a few more of these. I want to be able to go to three places. That would be optimal. Then I can contest them right here as well. Alright, here we go. Now we can actually fight them a little bit here. Which is good. Let's get one more of you. That will be on level 3. And level 3 I'm gonna send up right here. To contest this. For now you're just gonna fight. Don't eat anything, just fight. And we're still contesting this, so they are not getting any leaves from here. That's just a spider. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the northeast. Harvesting operations can now continue. Alright, so that harvest is now dealt with. It's really easy to deal with the spiders with the large shots. I'm really curious if you can actually beat them underground as well. Can I actually... The leaf cutters have clashed to the northwest. What if I get everyone into a group one? I will just send them into here. And then I'll take these guys. And I'll tell them to go pick up food. What about that? Would that work? I want to see if we can go into their lair and wreak havoc. That's my plan. And if we do that, we shouldn't have to worry about the workers not making a lot of food. Or not being able to get to the food. Because we should just be fighting them constantly anyway. Opposing leaf cutters have been cleared from an area to the north. The leaves can now be stripped and sliced without interruption. So how is this going? Can we actually send you into the, har the harvest now? Now that everyone is here. Oh, this is so cool. Just get them. Uh, we could actually even send you here. I'll get this a lot of food. So our target is the queen. Our target is the queen. Let's get the queen. Oh, 
Those are fine. You guys will now bring me more food. And it looks like we are kinda keeping up. At least to some extent. The colony is starving. There is not enough food to feed the new brood. There will be enough food, don't you worry. Should we leave you guys here again? And let's get you guys back in here. I would really like it if we could just delve straight into... I think we are... Are we cleaning this up? Hey, I think we actually did it. The queen is within our sight. Look at this. I didn't know if this was possible, but it looks like it is. They have their last stand right here. Of course we're sandwiched, but I think that's fine. We're still having way more more guys coming as well. We just need to make sure that this is not running out. Which doesn't look like it's the case. So they kinda did it. Uh, let's get back to the surface and let's go just park you here instead. Alright, is it time for us to clean up a little bit more here? Seems like they are very eager the to... cutters have secured a vital harvesting site from their opponents. Alright, uh, we're gonna need to make some more food before we do this again. So, where do we get food from? Right here, maybe. We use everyone to get food, we should be able to do this fairly quickly. Maybe I should send you guys back. You're not gonna do very much good now, are you? Actually, you could kind of go with these, right? We'll be fine. The hillside at a colony is falling behind. With their demise at hand, they have no choice but to strike back at their opponent. You're gonna strike back now, huh? Here, fight me. Fight me. Do it. Do it. Uh, let's have you stop eating and let's have you start fighting instead. I can also strike, you know. Let's... let's delve in. Let's see if they got anything new for us. See if they got anything new for us. Looks like they actually built up quite a lot. Quite a lot of new stuff. We also have a lot of food now, so... We should be able to swarm endless amount of ants into here. I know there is a lot of you guys, but there is a lot of me as well. Wonder we had some rangers. That would be so strong here. I think we are slowly wasting some resources though. I think we should try to gather some horses first. A territorial dispute has arisen between the Atta colonies. There is no territorial dispute, we are literally just slaughtering them. Uh, do you guys not... The opposing colony oh. to the north has pulled back some of its harvesters. They need time to regroup. They're pulling back their harvesters now, so I think we are in good shape. We should be in really good shape. Into the lair we're going. Once more. 
I really want to beat this queen, man. <laughs> it seems possible. That's the that's the best part of all this. So I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna gonna stance right here, and we're gonna wait for everyone to show up. And then we're gonna march on the queen. We're gonna starve them out first, and then we will march. Because if we're standing right here, they can't get any leaves into this. Right? And we are just continuously marching new ants into here. One after another. Why are you going back? That doesn't seem like it makes much sense. There we go. I think we won. The ants have subdued their rivals and achieved dominion over the clearing. As the competition withers, they will extend their territory in all directions, firmly establishing their agricultural empire. One day, this colony will number in the millions. All right, millions it is. And we actually did it. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, this time went a lot better. I feel like we had a better understanding of what we actually needed to do. And I think we are going to go with the jelly. I do like my jelly. Upgrades over everything else, right? And then we'll end this level. Took me 50 minutes this time. 31,000 score. Bunch of food available for us. Let's go back and see what we have, uh, How is have the achieved over here. The queen is exhibiting interesting uh, new behaviors. I believe the colony. A little bit of food. That's about it. Some food here. This we got for losing the last match. You get like a consolidation prize, and then we have a few of these guys that we need to deal with as well. All right. Uh, I have a idea. I want to do. I think I want to do this, right? And then we're going to dig out all of this. How much can we dig? We can probably dig out all of this at least. Right? Yeah. And maybe a few of these at least. So far, looking good. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this as orderly as possible this time around. How that's gonna go, I'm not so sure. But we're gonna try. We're gonna try to make it as orderly as possible. Uh, you guys, gonna clean out this. Might as well just go here. Yeah, let's start like that. And let's send you guys into here so you can start start collecting everything. So yeah, I guess in between episodes I'm gonna set this up, make sure we have some workers, make sure we have picked up all of the food, and then in the next episode we'll continue with another mission. Should be should be a lot of fun. I do hope you have yeah. <laughs> I tried to say words, they didn't really come out, but you know how it is. I do hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and if you did, then click that like button as usual, and make sure that you are subscribed if you aren't already. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye everyone.